At Hey Church Family, just wanted to give you an announcement about our freedom celebration uh, as we get ready for this coming uh, a week uh, from today. So I'll uh, be praying about this event. Uh, we have a number of people signed up already. I'd encourage you to get online and register for that as well, just so we can plan accordingly. But two big things we want to specifically ask you as church members and attenders, if you could really help us out with something. So because parking is always an issue, what we're going to try to do this year is ask our church members um, to park actually on the other side of the camp sign um, in the grass over in that area. Uh, everybody, all the entrances will be shut down. Everybody is going to enter off of Furnace Road, um, right by the academy entrance uh, to the building. Everybody's going to be entered there, and we're going to try to, with our parking attendants, guide you down there. But just so you understand, we're going to try to leave this main area for our guests and park our attenders and members over in that area. Our volunteers were actually going to ask to park back at the maintenance building back at camp, but they'll take care of that. And then secondly, when it comes time for the program, at the end of the evening, at 8.30, we have a special guest, Mr. Bob Quinter, who's one of the most decorated Vietnam uh, veterans uh, in, in our area, even in, in the nation. He is going to be uh, reading for us from the Declaration of Independence, and then Pastor Paul is going to follow that up with a gospel challenge about the God who truly sets people free. And we are going to have a stage set up right in front of the castle back there, um, in front of the playground, uh, to try to catch people as they typically try to, you know, as things close down, they typically try to start moving back to the lake right away. If you all as church members and attenders, if you could really help us by also not migrating back to the lake until after the program, uh, we do all this work in, in this event and we want people to hear um, about the gospel. And so that's a, a huge focus for us uh, this year. So if you could really help us in setting that example, uh, that presentation is going to be over um, about 10 minutes before the fireworks start, and so there will still be plenty of time to go back to camp uh, and find a spot uh, for fireworks. Uh, those are just some things you can be thinking about as we uh, get ready for this event. Once again, I'll uh, be praying for this event next week.